so I am a somewhat, uh, you know, exceptional case in that I was brought to spirituality and mysticism through laboratory and clinical, clinical work. And it was basically my first uh, psychedelic experience when I volunteered for an LSD session that just opened this whole area completely and answers, you know, unexpectedly. During that LSD session in 1956, Groff had an experience that profoundly altered his worldview and the course of his life. Another aspect of Stan's contribution, which I don't think is adequately appreciated, is his role in the genesis of the transpersonal psychology movement. But we were facing this major problem that this new psychology uh, was really fundamentally incompatible with what we knew as science. It was a very exciting time in the whole consciousness movement, um, and especially at Esalen. During this time, as psychedelic research was falling out of favor, Christina and Stan made an important discovery. Well, I think one of the most uh, interesting, most exciting uh, observations uh, from the work with holotropic states, with the whole spectrum, is the discovery of what we now refer to as the inner healer. The lessons that he's learned and that we've learned together apply in our everyday life. What we thought the psyche was, was just like the tip of the iceberg. 